Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am decorating for the month of March in my monthly view in my classic size happy planner. So this one is gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna be doing something I've never done before. I'm using the brand new sticker book called Colorful Florals and a little bit ironic because I'm using the black and white stickers but I'm going to, and they're on paper back. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be placing them all around the border and coloring them in. So I'm pretty excited about this to see how it turns out. Um, I've seen maybe a few other people do this before, but I've personally never done it. So excited to you know, be a little kid again and color. <laughs> I don't have markers, which is only, which is the little bit of a problem that I faced because I just have my felt tip pens. So it is much more time consuming and I had to take a break in between. So what I will be doing for y'all when I'm coloring them in is putting it on a time lapse like really, really fast, and then um, zooming in as well so you have a better look because I feel like it's kind of satisfying to see coloring like happening really fast. So it's pretty fun to watch if I do say so myself. But other than that, just putting them around the borders, once I color them in, then I'll cut the music off for y'all and then go in and fill in the month. So definitely get ready, get set. This is going to be some fun.
definitely time consuming to color all of those stickers in, but I think it was kind of therapeutic. I haven't, you know, colored in years, so I thought that was kind of fun. I do wish, however, that I would have tested the colors out before committing to those on the page because as a lot of pens are, the outside of the pen is colored way differently than what the ink actually comes out as. So you'll see once I start sticking the stickers down that they just don't match, like they just don't line up. Um, the pink is way darker than the pink on the stickers and the leaves, I thought it was going to be like a good dark green, but it's more teal. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Not everything has to be perfect, but I just wish it would have matched a little bit better. But also the purple that I started with right there at the top is like practically black. So that was kind of a fail. So then I ended up switching to a different purple and, you know, so, you know, it is what it is, but I think regardless, it was fun to color and, you know, do something different. So anyways, moving on to the middle of the page, I covered up the holidays or the different things happening that are already printed on the page and went ahead and put like a little colorful box for each of those things. So I'm going to write it in myself. And then the washi that I put down, I normally do that for times that my husband is going to be out of town or, you know, things that take up many days so that I can kind of group them together. Then let's see what else. I put down a sticker for trash day and then recycling day and payday and things like that. You know, just the regular housekeeping things. Then I can go ahead and start. So putting down a bill pay sticker and everything. The inside of this colorful floral sticker book has a lot to choose from and I'm really excited to dive into it. However, choosing to have my first time using this book to be in a monthly is a little bit trickier because I'm trying to figure out how to use the stickers in a monthly spread because they're not necessarily going to fit perfectly. So just trying to figure out, plus in general, it, it just is not matching. So it's just kind of throwing me off. So just kind of bouncing around and figuring out what I want to do and everything. So I actually decided to use these, the numbers and letters. So I put March and then 2021. So I'm happy with that. And then I wanted a quote to kind of fill in that sidebar so I put be proud of you I thought that was kind of cute then let's see what else I am figuring out what kind of decor I want to do and then also filling in the monthly I want to do what I normally do which is make it functional but also decorative so it's just kind of bouncing back and forth, figuring out where I want to fill in the size of it and then if I want to use a box or just write it and, you know, this, that, and the other. So then, and then also there's a lot of orange, which I didn't realize in these stickers. So I was kind of like, ooh, what do I do? I didn't use any orange in when I colored, so... I just decided go ahead and then I'll just kind of um, make some orange. I'll stick some more orange stickers down later. So these layered boxes I thought were really cute and I wanted to use those. So I found what I do. Okay, so I did not say this. What I do before I start my monthly is write down one through, you know, 30, 31, however, depending on that month. And I write in everything for a full month so that I can look and see 
what days I have something, what days I don't. And then normally, you know, certain days of the week, there's hardly anything ever going on, especially like, I don't know, Monday through Wednesday kind of thing. Those are always like pretty normal days. So those days that are stacked on top of each other, let's say like the 4th and 11th or something like that, then I can put like a larger box because I'm not going to write anything in there anyways. So it's just kind of figuring out what days I can cover up and white out the day of the week or, or the number of the week or, you know, whatever. So maybe I'm babbling, but I just want to talk through exactly what I do and my logic behind it because the monthly is a big question mark for a lot of people and I do get asked how I do my monthly or you know how they can do it or how you know different ways to figure out how to do it so I don't know I'm trying here <laughs> All done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment for more. Bye, guys.